Hey guys, it's your boy Mix. We're back. Yes, it has Miss Guy News for you. Season 2 of episode 1 of 2023. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're kicking it off straight away with, yes, you guessed it guys, the F64s are back on SPTV. And of course, who are better than Teddy, aka the legend, Ed Sheeran to start it off and pay tribute to my big brother and also the king, the legend of this industry, aka King Jamal Edwards, MBE, MBA, PhD, rest in peace, my brother. We miss you every single day. Every day, self belief should live on through me and everyone. Please watch the preview of what Ed had to say, because words can't convey it. You know, it hits me most of moments now when I'm alone. Every morning, I remember that you're really gone. Because it's been a long night and I cry because I miss my brother. You know, for life, got your sister, mother. And day and night, it still hits that you're gone. And right now, I'm spilling tears in my cup. One of the most beautiful tributes ever, and what, like, Words cannot explain how much that means to me in my heart. Many of us that were close to Jamal loved him to the core. Like, our only mission in life is to carry on what you wanted to do, Jam, and that's just fly your, your flag and also complete your marathon for you as well, my brother, trust me. Moving on, we're gonna be discussing, yes, you guessed it, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, yes. Bad Boys 4 has been announced by Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. Uh, they recently announced it on a little podcast that you know Will does on his uh, YouTube. He's like, hey, what's up, Martin? Hey, what's up? <laughs> Here's a little preview of what they had to say. Yo, I got an announcement. Y'all better stop scrolling, seriously. Oh, this is, I'm hype. I'm hype. Ow, ah, I hit myself in the eye with my camera. Starting route to All right, hold on. I'm going to give y'all a hint. I'm going to give y'all a hint. Oh, that's my jaw. It's about that time. Money Mo! What up, boy? What up, boy? Money Mo! Hold up, bring that love in there. Money Mo! What up, man? Hey, it's about, that time? it's about that time. It's about that time. It's official, y'all. Y'all know what it is, right? It's official. Let's Bad boys boy, for, for life, life baby. That's for right. For life. Well, we did four. We did. Uh, but it's still bad boys. But it's for life. for life. But the third one, we should, well, the third well, one was, mate, was it, it was called Bad Boys for we should life. What we should like we shouldn't have called it that hey, though. It's life. It's like the three was the three was the E. The, the E three was, was the, the E. The three was the. But this is Bad Boys Four. It's official. That's right, y'all. <laughs> Man, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited for that. Like Bad Boys for life, like for life. They shouldn't have called the third one four, but you know they kind of messed up there, bro. Oh my God, let's cut to the chase. No time to waste. Tommy Fury and Jake Paul have officially confirmed their fight, and it's this month. Ding ding. <laughs> Who's gonna win? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But honestly, I think it would be a good fight because you know what? As much as people hate Jake Paul and they're giving the hate about the boxing and stuff, I honestly think Jake Paul's a good fighter. And you know, the fighter's chance is always a hip man. He may hit that haymaker or that backhand or a rollover and a bang up to the chin of Fury. But at the same time, Fury, man, like, yeah, yo, it's gonna be a good fight. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope we get it. I hope it happens this time, man. I really do. I think it's happening in Saudi as well. Um, let me know what you guys think also about the controversy with Jake Paul and Money May and all that Fugazi stuff. But here's a little preview of uh, the announcement of the fights. Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is the first time you've seen each other face to face. Let's keep it calm and collected. This is a fight two years in the making. Jake, I'm going to come to you first. Relax, relax. All fake confidence. You can't even knock out a taxi driver. You can't even knock out a taxi driver. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep it going. I was beating better people than you when I was 14 in amateurs. I will screw you. I ain't an MMA guy. I was beating people better than you when I was 14 while you were messing about on Disney Channel. So don't come here pretending you're about it when you're not. What have you got to say to that? He's gonna get knocked out by by a Disney star. That's same, plain and simple. That's it. End of story. You'll see, bro. You'll see who the real professional boxer is. Man, I can't wait for that fight. That one. I hope, really hope. I really, 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 stupendously hope it happens. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Moving on, we got Tiffany and Co. and Nike, the collab that everyone's been waiting for for ages. Yes, Tiffany and Co. have announced the Air Force One uh, model that they have released. Preview now. 
uh, which is going to be releasing very shortly, I believe, alongside a few little intricate things as well. I, for one, cannot wait for this collab to happen because I've been waiting for it for ages. People have done concepts and designs and like, nothing like a Tiffany & Co collab. <laughs> but yeah, moving on also, uh, we talk about DJ Khaled. And, uh, you know that song where you're like, I'm on one, da, 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 da. Yeah, you guessed it. DJ Khaled crushes his buggy for God knows what reason. Take a look. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> shit, we got In life, oh, there's roadblocks. Don't, don't let nothing stop you. Well, I don't know what's with Khaled there. Maybe he had too many wing stops or like uh, the DJ Khaled wings. I don't know, man. God, God, God help that guy. God bless you too, bro. Moving on, we're talking about Ginger's Dingles. Dinning free. The trilogy is happening. Yes, it's going to be lit. If you can't see, if you haven't seen the build up, please watch the previews now. Hey, 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 I can't wait for that. The battle of the two gingers. Who's the real ginger and who's the minger? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be lit, man. Also, moving on, we're going to talk about Bowser Boss. Yeah, he started something called the Dungeons in Birmingham. Alabama, no, I'm joking, Birmingham, UK. He started off um, a Dungeons thing which is going on currently. I went to one of them because it was like where well, I was in the vicinity at the time, coincidentally, but it is sick. I'm really looking forward to what more he's got to produce alongside the Ginger Stinger stuff and more music, pals, of course, more music. Here's a little preview of the last. What should we call it? Yeah, let's just call it what he calls it the Dungeon Fight. Ha! Fucking man, this is you, bro. Ready boys, last round! Let's go! Who's the bigger lad? Yes! Who's the big boy? Make, make it up! No, it's all you! Yeah, and again! Same shit, Perry! Same shit, Perry! Same shit, Perry! Get on him! Get on him! Wake up on him! Yeah, whack buddy! On the top! On the top! And again! And again! Me. Awesome, great stuff. Birmingham's thriving right now, and there more mini capacities. Even Rentrex dropping his new music and stuff like that. But yes, moving on forward, we're going to be talking to you about Creed 3. Yes, Michael B. Jordan has announced Creed 3. There's a little preview that's been released, and it is going to be looking sick. It looks immense. The cast is immense as always, and just, just take a preview, please. Adonis Creed. You don't remember me, huh? What happened with you two? We was like brothers. I got some unfinished business. Got to be talking about day. I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Let go of whatever was and walk into what is. Creed 3. Rated PG-13. Only in theaters March 3rd. I'm a massive fan of the Creed franchise as well, so this is going to be really amazing. Like, oh, I've ever guessed me. I want to see some, like, boom, body shots and boom, some haymakers. You know what I mean? <laughs> But yeah, moving on, we're also going to be talking to you about something very quite interesting, actually. Very intriguing. The question is... So <laughs> Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo has scored his first goal for Anasar in the league. And it was a quite good goal, actually. It was quite a good goal. Let's see what the GOAT scored. The first goal for Al Nasser can mark the goal 820 at the official level in Cristiano. O remate e o golo! Está feito o primeiro golo de Cristiano Ronaldo. Com a camisola do Al Nasser aos 92 minutos. Empate na partida a surgir de penalti. O primeiro golo de Cristiano pelo Al Nasser. A seleção principal portuguesa marcou de penalti. Qual gol? What a goal! Fenomenal! Fantástico! Mwah! Por isso. Unfortunately, this is all we have because we wanted to make it nice and short and snippy for the first episode of Has Mixed Connies for You. Please tune in next time, guys. We'll have more stuff coming. Also, we've got another podcast coming soon, which is entitled Top of the Mix. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be Top of the Mix, so that'll be coming every Friday to you. And that'll be the top 10 songs of the week. Or 
in any vicinity you order according to mix. But for now, thank you very much. Smash that subscribe button, press the like, comment, share, and what else to say? Mix a match, mix a blend, mix.